If you're a real estate agent watching this video, you know farming for new prospects is a process that takes a lot of time and resources. That's why it's important to make sure you choose the farming area that is best for your business and ensures that your efforts are in front of the right people. First, consider the two main categories of real estate farming, geographic farming and demographic farming. Decide what's most important to you. Do you want to target a specific neighborhood or a particular type of client? For new agents, staying close to home is a great way to get started. You likely already have established connections and you'll be seeing your prospects out and about regularly. Additionally, if you've lived in the area for any length of time, you've got great local knowledge on the neighborhood school districts, community organizations, and entertainment. When farming an unknown area, prior research on the neighborhood is key. You've got to be able to answer questions about the kinds of homes that are available, home values, neighborhood demographics, and major employers, to name just a few. You should also research competitors to see who may already be farming the area. If what you find out about the neighborhood market isn't in line with your brand, or if you find the neighborhood is already saturated with agents, it might be time to rethink your strategy. Once you've decided on a neighborhood, you should check out turnover rates to predict if your efforts will be profitable. With your farming area selected, making people aware of your business is the first step to gaining new clients. Quantum Digital's AutoMail Plus can schedule a year's worth of postcard mailings in a matter of minutes. It's integrated with online lead tracking to deliver prospects straight to your inbox. Think of it this way, personal connections made easy. To get started, simply visit us at quantumdigital.com am.